No, guys, you're not seeing twice the Mega Box Est Arrive. The box has finally arrived from NGC, bearing the fruits of lots and lots of graders doing what they do best and grading beautiful coins submitted by Numistaka to NGC. So it's a big box, and uh, so. Do the usual. Go and make a nice cup of tea or coffee if it's in the morning or uh, if you're in the Far East, maybe a bowl of soup or some noodles, whatever you fancy, you'll probably need it to get through these next six quite long mega box, mega grading videos. Uh, I'll probably put some other stuff in between them. So uh, over the next week or two, you will see the fruits of all of these boxes and see what other people are grading and learn some lessons um, and just share with me the whole experience of the results of NGC grading. Each one of these double boxes contains about 40 coins. So there's um, some of them aren't quite full, but 40, 80, 160. There's probably about 160 or more coins that are in this box, which are going to be shown to you over the next videos. There are six videos in this little series, and uh, there they all are in their finery, directly from NGC graders. Um, so let's have a look and see what's in the first box. And here we have in box number one, beautifully taped up by NGC's dispatch department. And uh, no one has touched this box since it was loaded by uh, NGC's loaders. And so you guys are going to be the first people to see what is inside this beautiful box. Aha! Okay, so this box does not contain coins, but uh, it contains a little teaser for you. Because um, one of the things that I did recently was source some 2018 India sovereigns, 20 of them in fact, for Facebook groups and members of the Silver Forum. And... Uh, they, they aren't back in this box, they're back in the next box, but they found some extra space in this box to put all the, uh, the, mint, um, the mint packaging in. So you can see this box originally contained 25 India sovereigns. So these are minted in India by PAMP and uh, not the easiest box to get into. Um, I guess they've uh, made it a kind of secure design for a reason. But um, next, now I know these things come in box of 25, then uh, maybe next time I'll do 25. That seems to be an easier amount, and we can do uh, a bulk order. But here you see they've changed the packaging a little bit um, this time. Previously it's been a bright red packaging, and now you see they've got the same thing in a maroon colour and they've done it I think to match the raw mint proof box which is in the same shade of maroon so they've kind of made it made it match. It's got a certificate of authenticity with a barcode, not sure what's on the barcode and normally there's a serial number on it, at least there previously has been a serial number. It didn't look like there was a serial number anymore on the 2018 ones and this is obviously part of a new agreement because the original license for this only went from 2013 to 2017. So let's take a look at the big box number one. So uh, hopefully you'll stay with me right to the end of this video. It's uh, normally about 10 minutes to show you half a box uh, of these sovereigns. So uh, the first half of this box you'll see in this video and then in the next video, you'll see the second half of this box as well. So here we are in box number one. What little surprises are going to be in store? 
So as you can see, this box is one and a half kind of rows. Um, going to take the little row, finish that off in this video, and then in the next video, we'll do the, the first half of it. So let's take a look at what we've got. This one was a mechanical. So a mechanical is where NGC cock it up. And in this case, the cock up was that uh, it's a 2010 coin. The original holder said 2012. Uh, I think the, word, the person on the labeling machine must have had a few too many coins or at the end of a shift or something. So uh, that didn't work out very well. Um, this one is another mechanical. I can't remember what was wrong with this coin. Um, I must look it up, but whatever they've done to it now, it's uh, beautifully labelled, beautifully holdered, and just a really, really lovely South African wildlife themed coin, uh, 2002 um, Cheetah 69. I think 69 is pretty good. Um, it's always nice to get a 70, but 69 is not bad at all. This one, this one has a story behind it. Um, this is a mechanical which was sent to NGC because it originally said 12-sided 2016. As you can see, it's now come back and instead of saying just 12-sided 2016, it also says micro dates. Um, I think this coin does have micro dates, but that's not the reason for the error. I mean, what should be blindingly obvious to you is that it's all one colour. Whereas if you know the British pound, the 12-sided pound, it's a bi-colour coin. This is a very rare mono-colour coin. You can see here the micro information around the rim. You can, should be able to see it pretty clearly, particularly if you're on a 4K TV. Uh, you'll be able to see this really well. I'm not sure whether all of them have the micro printing, micro, micro printing around the outside. But uh, I came across one which had a 2016 date with a 2017 um, microprinting. But this one, I didn't send it because of the microprinting. I sent it because it's one colour, not bicolour, which is very rare. So I've been back to them and asked them what they're going to do about this. Um, they said that everything was absolutely fine. Then I asked them again. Then they said everything was going to be absolutely fine again. Then I wrote to them a third time saying... Uh, I'm usually right, so please listen to me. It is one colour. It should be bicolour. Please, can you get the graders to look at it again? And then finally, they agreed to let me send it back as a mechanical for the third time and let the graders look at it. And maybe, in their infinite wisdom, they might recognise that actually it is one single colour of metal rather than two colours. So I'm hopeful that that will come back right the third time. OK, so the next one is um, a very fine, but not PF70, 2018 quarter ounce proof Onza. 750 minted in 2018 compared to 500 in 2017 and thousands in 2016. Uh, not a great year to buy. Um, this is my one, my personal one. And uh, I wish it had got a 70, but it just shows you. Sometimes when I put my name on a coin, NGC look at it and they say, you know, we'll serve him right, we'll give him a 69 and we'll give some of the other people a 70. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. It's not fair, but I guess that's their way of evening it out. This one, this one is rather special. Uh, <clears throat> everyone loves a Europe theme coin. Uh, I think it's quite a nice design. Um, gold 50p's are on the up. Uh, watch out for gold 50p's. I think there's going to be a lot of interest over the next few years in 50 pences generally from the UK. Gold ones are the pinnacle of Royal Mint 50 pences. And uh, this one is a pretty early one. Lovely condition. PF70. Nothing at all wrong with that. And highly desirable. 2004 One Sovereign. PF70. I guess with all the grading I'm doing, I'm probably adding... Um, quite a lot to the populations of a lot of the sovereigns. Uh, I think that that's not a bad thing. I think it will make make sovereigns uh, maybe a little more popular than they were a couple of years ago. Lots of people now collecting these. And just look at this one. This one was conserved by NCS. Um, it was from a four-coin set, 
and um, it wasn't totally perfect so I picked it out for conservation and after conservation it's got a 70. Um, is it a waste of money conserving modern coins? I, I think that for proofs it's often worth the extra payment to get NCS to look at them, review them and clean them off uh, before they're graded. Um, and I think the numbers of 70s that come out of that process is higher than it would otherwise have been if they'd have just gone to NGC to be graded. Uh, but it is around, what, uh, $11 or so more expensive to have these modern coins conserved. And in fact, they've now changed their price list from January the 1st. I'm just trying to get clarification but I believe that modern gold is actually going to be $30 to get conserved as opposed to $11. Um, so I'm just trying to find out exactly what is going on with them. But you can see a lot of this modern gold when it's conserved. Uh, if, it's, if it turns out um, 70, that is a pretty good result. And does 70 add anything to the value of these coins? Uh, is it worth grading modern bullion? That's the subject of another video uh, but what I can tell you is when I've seen recent sales of 70 grade sovereigns like this they're anything between 20 and 40 percent more than a 69 might be and here's one that's just come in from grading this one looks to be pretty nice as well um, will it get conserved not sure yet but uh, hopefully it'll come out a 70 the same as the other one the Sovereign, harder to get a 70 on the Sovereign. They're much more stingy, I think, with 70s for some reason on the Sovereign. This one got a 69, but I have had a few 70s. Uh, it's not impossible, and the 70 will add quite a lot to the value of the 89 Sovereign in particular. Here's another Libertad. This one is a 2017 one. 500 of these only minted. Libertads are worth watching out for. Uh, and I will do another video update on Libertads, but they are a very low mintage, interesting, semi-numismatic coin. Um, you can see here my one, 2018, 2017. The design stays the same year by year for quite long periods of time. Um, but the 2017, only 500 of those, pretty good. 2015, I think, was 500 as well. Anyway, so that's the end of this little segment. Hope you enjoyed that. And please like, subscribe and remember to watch some of the other segments as well. Bye.